<laughs> do you agree with the suspensions? I do. I want to say, say this first, though. I saw yeah. this a lot yesterday, the Malice in the Palace 2. I can remember watching the Malice in the Palace in my dorm room. I was watching this game live the other night. Two very different things. Absolutely. Two very different things. Let's not equate those two things. So first Great of all, Le LeBron instigated it 100%. He didn't do anything to escalate it afterwards. Mm -hmm. Isaiah Stewart, after initially being fairly reserved in his reaction, started to taste his own blood. Mm -hmm. And we all know what that's like. He went into a fit of rage. He escalated the situation. He probably did deserve more games than LeBron, but I think two games is fair. Well, for me personally, I disagree. I thought it should have been more. I don't have a problem with it being two because I think the kid is a good kid and he's only 20 years of age and people make mistakes. And if you're looking at it through that lens, I have no issue with it. But the NBA is a business and you have folks that are patronizing your product. And the reality of the situation is, is that we all have to pay attention. We have to live in the real world and understand how the NBA is looking at it and what kind of detrimental effect they believe something like that being tolerated could potentially have on them. So I'm going to go into detail. We saw as LeBron clearly instigated it. He was wrong. And I have no problem if LeBron had gotten a couple of games. If he had gotten a couple of games suspension instead of just one, it wouldn't have bothered me in the slightest. I don't think that he intended for that to happen, meaning for you know, the guy to be bleeding. I think you saw instantly what his reaction is. Like, I really messed up. My bad, the whole bit. So I think you saw LeBron doing that. And then we hear that he tried to reach out and call him thereafter. Neither here nor there. Isaiah Stewart had to be restrained. Can you count the amount of people he had to be restrained by? Can you count the amount of people? About seven or he, eight. He, he, about I, seven or I, eight. I think it was more than that. Because you're talking about his teammates. But did he and throw a punch? Step. Did he throw a punch? Well, you could no, he did he, not. He did, he did not leave the Hold court on, Jay. in a timely manner. Hold on, Jay. No, but he, he no, didn't Jay. throw a punch. No, You're Jay, talking stop. about a product. Jay, stop. He did not throw a punch. Stop, Jay. He didn't throw a punch. He ran over a few people. He ran he, over assistant coaches he, and security guards. Right. It wasn't like he was no, running over no, guys from the no, Lakers. No, 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 the point is that Jay Williams tried to make that same point. No. If people, what if an assistant coach, what if one of your own assistant coaches, who's probably in his 40s or 50s, what if they had gotten hurt? when they went flying and fell to the floor. Right. Would we be saying, well, that was your teammate, that, was, that wasn't an opponent? <laughs> we wouldn't be saying that. The fact of the matter is you have to restrain yourself because when you don't restrain yourself and you look that out of control where ultimately arena security and law enforcement officials got to get involved because you're racing to the back to try to confront LeBron James after you bulldozed over numerous people in the process. I'm not, this is the part that, uh, that's hard about this conversation. Because I'm not trying to point the finger at Isaiah Stewart like he's some bad guy. Clearly I, not. Clearly I mean, not. Clearly about not. Guy. I'm not saying a that bit about of it. Rage. A what bit I'm of rage. saying is, what I'm saying is, from an optics perspective, if you are the league, it matters so what's how your product. Hold on. Appropriate he, punishment. Okay. I thought if it were me, yeah, I'd have suspended it for five games. I'd have suspended it for five games without blinking. He, and I would have explained him, and I, and I, and I would have went, oh, Commissioner, God rest his soul, Commissioner Stern route. I would have called him up to the league office, and I would have said, I want you to understand that I don't believe you're a bad person. I don't believe this is something that you're known for. But you need to understand that as a professional athlete representing our brand, you can't look like that and think that that is going to be a good reflection on our league. Elbows happen. People have bled before. Hell, punches have been thrown before. But you don't see something like that often. It's Stephen A, though. And that's what I'm saying. It's Stephen it, it, A. Well, it was intentional. Keyshawn, I want you to get in here. It, it was intentional, and he is 20 years old. Uh, go ahead, Keyshawn. Wh which part was intentional, uh, Molly? LeBron, LeBron elbowing. He didn't see, mean to see, give I, him a... No, 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 wait, hold on. Let me finish this up. He didn't mean to give him a bloody face okay, and all that, okay, right? Okay, right? okay, But, but okay. The, the elbow didn't just magically go up in the air. No, there's no question that whatever frustration was there with LeBron at some point in time, he took it out on Isaiah Stewart because they were locked at arms, standing there underneath the basket, and he basically said, get yo, you know what, off of me, and his head happened to hit a closed fist. Therefore, there was a gash that was put into Isaiah's face. He did not do it intentionally. LeBron deserved to be suspended. Isaiah, based on, like Stephen A said, running out there, being looked at as out of control, escalating the situation, because you never know how that thing might turn. 
You just don't know. And as you know, JJ, the league is a brand. They want to protect that logo. They don't want to have the same sort of things that happen in fights with a bunch of people around. All of a sudden, there's some mayhem. And two games is enough, Stephen. Hey, you don't need more than two games. He's no, young. He'll I don't understand. have a problem with the two. I, I'm, saying saying if it would be, I'm saying if it would be, it would have been five. But I'm not opposed to the two. JJ, I'm not opposed JJ, to the two. JJ, why were you shaking your head when Keyshawn was just talking? Well, here's my issue with giving him a five-game suspension. The guy hasn't done anything wrong in his career. This is his first thing. He's clearly mad. Yeah. He's bleeding all over the court. Yes. No one was hurt. And to Stephen A's point earlier, I'm sure the league is going to have a long conversation with him. I'm sure the front office of Detroit is going to have a long conversation with him. I'm sure he will learn a lesson yeah. from this two-game suspension. Five seems excessive. That's all I'm saying. Did, let, me, let me ask you this, though, J.J. and Stephen A. Because some people tried to convince me that LeBron got off lightly because it's LeBron James. If it wasn't LeBron James and it was somebody else, the ninth man on the team, they would have had a harsher penalty. Do y'all believe that? Because I don't. No. I don't. I don't believe it either. I don't, okay. I don't believe it. Again, he goes back to LeBron didn't further escalate the situation. Exactly. He realized yeah. as soon as he hit him in the face, he realized, yeah. oh, I swung. I didn't mean to hit him there, but I swung. Yeah. Let me let me try to de-escalate and, and, this. And, and he tried to. And the problem, but the problem that I have with everybody, and I'm not saying you, Jay, but the problem that I have with everybody who shares your position is that they're absorbing it as it's as if it's an attack on Isaiah Stewart. And I want to 